Okay, in this machine, I kind of wanted to go over what happens when you raise the head pressure, meaning maybe a plug outdoor coil. Uh, and what happens to the fixed orifice device machine when you, uh, when you have a condition like that where your outdoor coil is plugged? Now this machine's a fixed orifice machine. It was set to target superheat. It's varying around a little bit, but it'll probably settle down here to about 12. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block off the condenser a little bit and we'll see what happens to the uh, superheat. Now this machine's got a pretty high subcool. This thing always has had a never could figure out why it's that high but it doesn't seem to increase the head so I'm gonna let this thing get settled down to pretty close to that uh, proper uh, superheat and then I'm gonna block that condenser okay we're pretty well set here I'm gonna go ahead and block the condenser off Now you can see I haven't blocked it off a whole lot, but the head pressure's going up. Uh, and pretty soon we're gonna see the effect on the low side. You can see it now, uh, it's dropping like a stone. That's because I've increased the head pressure. When I've knocked that head pressure way up, then the superheat's going to drop because it's pushing more refrigerant through. So these things are really balanced. Uh, they simply won't work right if they have a plug coil or something that increases the head pressure. If you get air in the system, it's going to do the same thing. Notice now we're down to 3.1, 3.2 on superheat see if I can get it a little farther down. Okay, I blocked off more of that uh, head pressure and we'll see if it drops it any more. You notice also the suction pressure has gone up. The reason it's gone up is because uh, I'm pushing more refrigerant through. Now it's going way up. Now my superheat's down, you know, it's down almost to two. So, what's the, uh, what's the point of this? It tells me that I need, if I'm using a fixed orifice machine, I need to be sure that my coil is clean, uh, the fan's working properly, all these kind of things. Make sure that your head pressure is in a normal range. See, I'm 350 pounds <coughs> on my head now. It's way out of hand. And of course, there's virtually no superheat at all. Now, when I pull this off, it's going to start changing back. Now you can kind of see everything's really kind of screwed up now because uh, now the as the head pressure dropped, the suction pressure dropped through the toilet. It's going to take a little while for this thing to get back to any sort of normal operation. But just remember that when you're dealing with a machine that has a plugged coil or something else that could raise the head pressure too high, it's going to mess up the balance. Now this is on a fixed orifice machine, so it's a little bit different than a TXV. Now you can see we've actually gone a little bit too far. It'll probably do that uh, because it doesn't balance out right away. So the, the uh, super heat has actually gone down a little bit too much and now it's coming back up again. Anyway, make sure that your coils are clean before you try to charge one of these things. On a fixed orifice, it's especially bad.